Welcome back to the New York Jets franchise, everyone. The regular season is over, and the Jets have backed into the playoffs after a thumping by the Dallas Cowboys in their season closer. Now it's time for Wild Card Weekend and a matchup with the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs won a very weak AFC West with a record of 9-7, However, they have the personnel to give the Jets all they can handle. Patrick Mahomes, Sammy Watkins, and Travis Kelsey put together quite a team in the passing arena. And if Duke Johnson can get untracked in this game, Kansas City may be hard to stop. Couple that with a very tough defense, and the Jets will be challenged to move the ball against these guys. KC boasts the number two defense in the NFL and number one against the run. Guys like Frank Clark, Chris Jones, and Derek Nottie should definitely have an impact on the weak New York rushing game. It may be Darnold's game to win in throwing against the likes of Terrence Polk, Juan Thornhill, and Tyran Matthew it isn't going to be an easy thing to do. I don't see a domination game happening today. However, it'll be a tough game against the Chiefs squad that is coming off a couple of wins to end the regular season. And New York will need to have one of the best performances of the season to pull this off. Can the Jets take a win out of KC? Let's find out as the Jets try to invade the Chiefs kingdom here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Freddie Richardson is back deep in the end zone. Daniel Carlson gets us underway here in Kansas City. Richardson fields a short kick up the middle and he gets out to the 35 before he's brought down. And that brings us to the numbers for Patrick Mahomes on the season. 10 interceptions, 37 touchdowns to go along with that. And just over 4,100 yards. And he is a definite run threat as well. This time he passes it complete. Josh Jackson with the reception out to the 39 yard line. And here is the offensive lineup for the Chiefs. Eric Fisher and Mitchell Schwartz on the outside of that line, really bringing some stability to it. Now second and six. The pass over the middle, complete. Reynolds making the grab. Now out of the shotgun, Mahomes back to pass. Throws to Johnson in the left flat, and he is stopped immediately. Second and 12. Up the middle goes Johnson, and he has the first down to the 37 of the Jets. Am I seeing that right? The the Jets look to be in a 46 defense. That one's complete to Reynolds on the right side, down to the 23. But I think that's right there. The Jets are working out of the 46 defense. What a switch here for the playoffs. Oh, and McGee takes it 15 yards into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs. Right first and make it look kind of easy going down the field. An eight play drive, 64 yards in three minutes and 45 seconds. And now it, it will be the Jets turn. Darnold with 30 touchdowns, 17 interceptions on the season. With just over 3,400 yards. Trying to add to that tonight and quite frankly just trying to have a real positive game and that for first play is a negative jackson getting dumped for three yards ross with the reception over the middle and he has a first down into chief territory at the 43 yard line now with jackson the lone setback darnold decides to run the ball and he fumbled it. Frank Clark picks it up and takes it to the 43. Defense. 
And there's a face mask on the play as well. Jeremy Irons with the call. And that means the ball is at the 34-yard line of the Jets. This one is intercepted. Jamal Adams taking it back the other way. Gets out to the 29-yard line. So just as fast as there was a turnover by Darnold, Jamal Adams gets the interception, and it's going back the other way. You can see there, Adams had to be reading the eyes of Mahomes because he jumped right in front of that. He looked like he was reading that the entire way. So Jackson with the play action pass, and it's knocked away by Casey, intended for Wesco. And here is the defensive lineup. Chris Jones and Frank Clark, the real stars on that offensive line. Darren Lee, the former Jet, now in the middle of that defense. Third and 10. Darnold back to pass. Throws complete to Ross and out of bounds at the 45-yard line. That gives the Jets a first down. Darnold with the pump fake. Throws complete. Valdez Scantling with the first down in the slot. Getting to the 44 of the Chiefs. And Jacobs up the middle to the 39. Second and four. Wesco takes it the rest of the way down to the 31. Second and 11 now. Jackson. Tries to find some room, only finds two yards. Third and seven now. Pass over the middle, knocked away. Jelani Sylvester making the play for the Chiefs. A 46 yard field goal try, and it's up and good. Daniel Carlson gets the Jets three points. Seven to three now, and after another short kick, Mahomes drops back, throws, Kelsey catch at the 45-yard line for a first down. Mahomes back again, throws deep, and this one is knocked away by Brian Poole. Now second and 10, out of the shotgun again. And this one is complete. Sammy Watkins on the right side for a first down to the 26 yard line. Mahomes with Johnson back in there. Mahomes throws the RPO out to Watkins. He has it down to the 18 yard line and that brings us to the end of quarter number one. Second and two. Now in the red zone. Johnson goes up the middle for first down to the 14. Second and seven. The throw to Johnson out of the backfield. Almost has the first down, but gets down to the five-yard line anyway. Third and one. Pass. Oh, almost intercepted by Trey Hendrickson. That leads to a 22-yard field goal by Harrison Butker. And the score is now 10 to three. The Chiefs have a full touchdown lead. Out of the I formation, the screen pass to Jackson. Weaves his way around and he gets out to the 48 and out of bounds. Everyone in tight for the Jets. And Jackson takes it on the counter and he has the first down. No, they weren't gonna mark him just short third and one and Somebody draws a holding penalty, Seth Smith, and that backs up the Jets 10 yards. Third and 10, the throw by Darnold off the fingertips of Ross. He can't hold on to it, so the Jets punt it away. The Chiefs start at their own 20 yard line. The screen pass to Johnson and he gets caught in the backfield for a huge loss. Second and 19 and he gets stopped again. Sam Hubbard 
getting in the backfield for a two yard loss. Third and 21, pass, almost, yes, it's intercepted. The ricochet off the hands of Perry Nickerson and into the arms of a diving Robert Ramirez. What a catch. And the Jets take over deep inside Chief territory at the 27. Darnold back to pass, throws. Oh, it's dropped by Ross at the five yard line, second and 10. And down goes Darnold. Derek Naughty making the tackle back at the 37. Now third and 20. Darnold back to pass, throws deep and it's almost intercepted by the Chiefs again. Casey getting his hands on it. This is a 54 yard try and Daniel Carlson puts it through and it's now 10 to six, Kansas City. Out of the shotgun, Mahomes. With Johnson by his side, the fake handoff. The pass goes out to Reynolds he can't get anywhere with it, but he still gets a six yard gain. And up the middle goes Johnson, first down, Chiefs. From the 36. Pass over the middle to Kelsey. He gains five yards in the middle of the field. The pass this time to Kelsey again for the first down. And they are short passing the Jets a lot. Kelsey again underneath the coverage out to the 44 and uh, up comes the two minute warning. Out of the shotgun again. Mahomes with the pass and it's a first down to Doxon and he's to the 39 yard line. The clock keeps ticking. Pass complete out to Kelsey and out of bounds at the 19 yard line. A minute 31 left. The pass complete to Reynolds to the 11 yard line, just shy of the yardage to make for the first down. Second and one, the pass is broken up in the end zone, intended for Kelsey. Third and one. Mahomes back, can't find anybody open and is finally taken down. Sam Hubbard in on the action. Fourth and 11 and out comes Harrison Butker and drills a 37 yarder. That makes the score 13 to six. Out of the shotgun, Darnold with 39 seconds left, and it's intercepted off the ricochet. Juan Thornhill is going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Kansas City. Darnold just didn't put enough air under that ball. Anthony Nelson gets a big mitt in there, knocks it away and deflects it right into the hands of Juan Thornhill. And that is a touchdown going the other way. That turns this into a two touchdown lead for the Kansas City Chiefs. The kickoff going to the goal line. McCole Hardman bringing it out. Oh, he makes a move and he's out in the open. 10-5 touchdown Jets. A hundred yard touchdown return. Hardman made one cut and with his speed, he was gone. That makes the score 20 to 13 here at the break. And now with a halftime report, let's go to Eurocat baby. With the Chiefs having the lead here at the break, New York has its work cut out for it in order to make a comeback. Neither team is what I would call dominating the game, but Darnold has made a couple of big mistakes. 
a fumble in Jets territory, and a pick six, all the while not being able to break the 60-yard mark in passing the ball. Unable to get the ball in the end zone, the Jets have had to rely heavily on the defense as well as special teams to keep this a one-score game. Mahomes, although making a couple of mistakes himself, has been able to maintain a couple of nice drives that could, if continued in the second half, tire out this New York defensive effort. Something that puzzles everyone is the Jets' move to the 46th defense. Coach Dale told me that over the past few weeks, the run game has suffered a lot, and it's his hope that this move both confuses the Chiefs and has the effect of containing the run a bit better. I, for one, really question the move going into the playoffs, but I guess that could be why I'm not a head coach. Will the Jets be able to make a comeback and move on in the playoffs, or will they go one and done? Stay with us because we'll be right back with the second half. Welcome back everyone to Kansas City's Arrowhead Stadium. Both teams have had their share of mistakes throughout the first half, though the Chiefs hold the lead in the game, and I would say the momentum as well. Can New York do something to make that change? Let's find out as we continue with the second half. After a jet three and out to start the second half, the Chiefs have it at their own 27-yard line, second and nine. Up the middle, it's Johnson to the 32. Third and three. The throw over the middle, complete to Doxson at the 38 for another first down. The Jets with a double high look. And a draw play to Johnson up the middle to the 43. Now the shotgun, Mahomes. Back to pass, throws complete. This one is to Watkins, and he makes just enough to move the sticks. Now Burke is in there at halfback. He gets the ball on a draw play, and it's up the middle to the 46-yard line. Second and four. Mahomes throws over the middle. Kelsey catches it for the first down to the 40-yard line of the Jets. Mahomes back to pass on second and eight. All day to throw it, and he finally finds Josh Reynolds for the first down at the 18. Another red zone trip for the Chiefs, and that one's complete to Doxson for a six-yard gain. Johnson takes it up the numbers, and he gets the first down. No, they're gonna call him just a little bit shy. And McGee takes it the rest of the way to the eight yard line. The Chiefs now have it goal to go and Reynolds takes it down to the one. A nice reception over the right side and Cade Hoffman gets Mahomes in the backfield back at the six. That will bring up a fourth and goal situation. And Harrison Butker comes out for a 23-yard field goal, puts it right through the middle, and it's now 23-13, Kansas City. 12 seconds left in the third quarter. Darnold back to pass, and it's intercepted. Casey gets up because he was not touched down, and finally Chris Herndon gets him to the turf. Darnold with another pass that he just didn't put enough air underneath and had it intercepted. So at the 41 yard line, a high snap, Johnson with the carry and he takes it down to the 36. And that brings us to the end of quarter number three and the Chiefs have a 10 point lead. Second in five. Again, Johnson for the first down to the 28. The Jets' defense is looking pretty gassed at this point. Second and 11, and oh, wow, Ramirez with a big hit. Third and 12, pass over the middle. is complete to Watkins, but he doesn't make enough for the first down. Only gets to the 25, and another field goal upcoming. 42 yards and it's through 
And your score is 26 to 13. The Chiefs double up the score. Darnold out of the shotgun. A fake handoff and he's sacked. Frank Clark getting to him back at the 13 yard line. Second 18. The throw complete to Arsenal. Has lots of room to the 40, to the 30. And he's tackled there. Tyran Matthew gets to him from behind, but not after a 45 yard gain after the catch. The throw this time is picked off. Trayvon Mullen gets the interception and that is Darnold's fourth turnover of the game. It's third interception, but remember that fumble that Frank Clark recovered made for four turnovers. Mahomes over the middle to Kelsey. First down out to the 39 yard line. The Chiefs picking up yardage in chunks now. Johnson up the middle to the 45. Second and four. And Johnson again for the first down. Oh, they're gonna call him just short. So third down and Sammy Watkins catches that one over the middle for the first down. Third and eight. And that one is dropped by Reynolds. The Chiefs have to kick it away. And the punt goes out of bounds at the eight yard line. Oh my. The Jets start out in a hole. Donald throws over the middle. It's incomplete intended for Arsenault. Second and 10. Darnold again throws deep. This one caught by Valdez Scantling. He muscled his way up to catch that one. And a timeout is called by the Jets. Just over two minutes left and there is a flag. Defensive pass interference. And who is that going to be called on? Ronald Casey. That gives the Jets the ball at the 35. The pass over the middle, complete to Ross to the 25. Just under two minutes left. This one is out of bounds, complete and out of bounds to Valdez Scantling at the 10. Darnold throwing to the perimeter again and out of bounds to Marquez Valdez Scantling. He is getting a workout in this two minute drill. Ross with the catch over the middle, touchdown Jets. Now comes decision time because uh, we're under two minutes and it's either win the game or go home. And the Jets decide to kick it away. And Johnson is stopped. Second and 10. Again, it's Johnson and Ramirez makes the stop. A six yard gain though. Third and four and a, Johnson has the first down and that We'll do it, folks. All they needed was a first down because the Jets are out of timeouts. And with 12 seconds left, Mahomes takes the knee, and that is all. 26 to 20, the Chiefs win at home. What a disappointment. For a moment, it looked as if the Jets were going to be able to move on to the division round, but that third down conversion killed any hopes of that happening. It just seemed that Mahomes was on fire in today's game. He threw for less yards than did Darnold, but had a much better completion rate, able to convert over 50% of the Chiefs' third downs. 
what really gave me pause for concern was <laughs> the KC drive in the third quarter. I know they were held to a field goal on that drive, yet one couldn't miss the fact that the Chiefs drained almost three-fourths of the quarter off the clock, to say nothing about keeping the defense on the field for that amount of time. And talk about being tired out. I think it was amazing that the Jets' D played as good as they did in the fourth. A positive takeaway from this game is that Trey Hendrickson will most likely be let go for financial reasons during the offseason, but rookie Cade Hoffman will seriously give Sam Hubbard a run for his money as a replacement defensive end. He had an outstanding game today. He proved he can get in the backfield with one and a half sacks working against one of the NFL's great longtime left tackles, Eric Fisher. A promising career, I would say. Now that we know that the Jets will not be moving on, it's time to see what happened in the rest of the games on Wild Card Weekend. The six-seeded Browns trampled all over the Ravens. The NFC six-seeded Cowboys won a score fest against the Rams. The Saints beat up on the Vikings and, of course, the Chiefs outlasted the Jets. So that means that divisional weekend looks like this. The Browns head to Tennessee. Dallas travels to Chicago. The Chiefs head into the deep freeze that is Buffalo at the moment. And the Saints head to Philly to play the Eagles. Of those games, Cleveland upsets the number one seeded Titans. Dallas puts away the Bears in front of a very hostile crowd in Soldier Field. Buffalo takes it to the Chiefs, and the Eagles easily take care of business against the Saints. That means that the number six seed from each conference has made it to their respective conference championship game. The Browns head to Buffalo to play the Bills, and the Cowboys and Eagles will play for the third time this season. This should be real interesting, given that Philly has won twice this season already. And your conference winners are the Cleveland Browns and the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> You know this is something that I had to look up, but the number six seeded teams from each conference have never made it to the Super Bowl. Two six seeded teams have won the Super Bowl, the 2005 Steelers and the 2010 Packers, but this is the first time for the number six seeded team from each conference at the same time. The Browns and the Cowboys in Super Bowl 58. Who will win this Super Bowl this season? Be sure to be with us for our next episode where we'll unveil the winner. We'll also see who made the Pro Bowl squad this season and go through the 2024 offseason. Well, that's going to do it for this week's episode of the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and remember to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of new videos as they come out. The Jets failed to move on in this year's playoffs, losing to the Chiefs in the wild card round. Knowing that New York has to get rid of some talent that would put them way over the salary cap, what is the 2024 roster going to look like? Will their change to the 46 defense stick? Can they draft some good talent? Or will they have to find what they need in the free agent pool? To find out, be with us for the 2024 offseason video. And until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now and have a good day, everyone. <laughs>